Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Artistic Souls Journey. And in today's video, we are going to be doing an abstract Dutch pour using thick acrylic paint. This paint mixture I had left over from a previous pour. I believe the measurements were two ounces of acrylic paint, approximately, possibly two ounces of Elmer's glue, a few teaspoons of water, maybe two, three tops, and two drops of silicone. I am using my Baby Bliss Pro Titanium Blue Blow Dryer. That was once for doing hair. However, it was what I had available when I was doing my art project and thus it is now an art tool. Because my pouring paint mixture was so thick, it created a lot of waves, I would call it, on my canvas. So just areas on the canvas where the paint was very thick so the blow dryer really could not move it too far because i had my blow dryer setting on high heat and high flow of air coming out it was doing as much as it was able to do i personally love thick layers of acrylic paint and I use this method in a lot of my pieces let me know what you think do you like textured looking art or do you enjoy more of a smooth finish I also really enjoyed just applying the paint to the canvas. I didn't have a particular method in mind, so sometimes the paint came out of the Elmer's glue bottle thick. I was able to get some out with swiggly lines and lines, and I just let the blow dryer do the thing. Once I realized that the blow dryer was creating these areas on the canvas where it was super thick and it wasn't able to move it too far off the canvas or even on the canvas, I actually began to fall in love with that. How many people enjoy a fluid pouring medium or a thick pouring medium? Do tell. And have you done the Dutch ball before? Do tell. This is the finished result. I may put some resin on top or maybe not. Let me know what you think. <laughs> 